trike. But uh, we just need to deal with the trike driver to go see the fireflies. They're gonna do a firefly tour. To give the music guys. He's done. Hear the friends. <laughs> All right, so we're in the middle of nowhere, in the pitch black. We're actually pretty far out of town. And um, that's exactly why you should have a flashlight. But um, <laughs> anyway, let me let me get some help illuminate myself. But uh, yeah, on our way to see the fireflies. Oh yeah, cool. Okay. Low tide. Low tide. Okay. That's a, that's okay. That's okay. okay. Maybe a bit easier. To see in the bridge. Okay. Yeah. We are head three hundred. Three hundred. Okay, yeah. including you, including the the transport, or no. including uh, transport? No, 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 no. no. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Hold on, we gotta talk some business. So this is actually a boat, and they had kayaks. But it's low tide. You can see it's actually embanked on the on the on the dirt. Anyway, we're just talking, and we resolved it. Um, it was actually 500 pesos just for the trike ride to get here, and then we pay 300 each entrance fee for this park. Usually that would include kayaks if it was high tide, but it's not. Is there anything? I need oh, do we need to pay now or no? No, I'm just. Are you sure? Okay. I've already gotten chased by a monkey. No. <laughs> totally. Okay. There's a crocodile here. No, there's not. <gasps> but a vegetarian one. <laughs> oh my goodness, Balio. <laughs> what is that? Azwang? <laughs> is that Azwang also? Uh, Azwang? Yeah, I know. Uh, I know, you joke. Joke. No, oh. biting uh, any kind of If insects. I feel anything, I'm going to scream and I'm going to run <laughs> for one of you guys and I'm going to jump Vegetarian. on. <laughs> Vegetarian. Vegetarian. I know. Maybe it's a gay crocodile also, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, welcome to the adventure. Yeah. Mabuhai, welcome to is it Kingfisher Park? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ali's getting paranoid. But rightly so, we have to be careful. As you can see, we're walking on a bamboo bridge. Um, it is very stable though. Oh, and it's not far. Okay. I don't know where the button is. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Here it is. Oh wow, look like little embers. I'm not sure the camera's picking that up. To tell you, far, uh, there are almost 2,000 species of fireflies, but few of them having the lights. The light is from their abdomen, in called, we called it uh, bioluminescence. Mm. Uh, if we see there's a firefly flashes fast and slow, every five seconds, then it blinks, it's a male. Oh, okay. Every two seconds, uh, blink, it's a female. What the happens? fastest the blink is a female. Do you agree that one, guys? The, the, the female is faster than that. <laughs> Trying to go closer. I'm really close, guys. Okay, now we're looking for plankton. Hmm. Oh, it really is low tide. Look how shallow the water is. How do you find plankton? Turn off the light, then okay. uh, splash in the water. Oh, and you feel it. Or a bit clearly because I got that giant fish bite. Well, maybe you're just scared, and that's why it attracts them. They get attracted to I think your I'm fear. Really the first one to run. All right, so here the mangroves, as you can see, is very low. Very low tide, meaning there's uh, not much water. And this is where the fireflies usually stay. So we'll see if they come back. Yeah, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but there's, there's, there's some flashing. Hmm. Well, it's much better in person, but it's nice. You can appreciate it more if you ever come out here.
Okay, back on our adventure trike, going back to town. Okay guys, I just wanted to do a little summary of what happened tonight. Uh, I was meant to meet my travel agent tour guide uh, to do this uh, Firefly tour thing. And um, basically she didn't turn up, she wasn't contactable. It happens sometimes because when they're on tour themselves or taking care of other customers, uh, sometimes not available. I think her phone died or low bat, but anyway, I, I, I couldn't reach her, meaning her phone was just not available. You know, it says this phone is not available. Anyway, uh, and anyway, it was fine. I just spoke to a tricycle driver out the front of my hotel. I negotiated 500 pesos to take us there. Okay, and return trip, and return trip. And that was for three people with uh, Mark and Ali and the nice American friends. Now, my expectation, this is what the travel travel agent tour guide said, was for a thousand pesos, it includes the transfer, uh, uh, kayaking, you know, rowboat, uh, not rowboat, canoe boat, canoe boat, we call it kayaks uh, in Australia, and also a floating restaurant. When we arrived, okay, so this is more a warning, okay, this is more a warning just if anyone is interested. It was quite far out of town, that was fine, that was actually the most exciting part, the tricycle ride. The trike, he was a good driver and he was swerving and there was like construction going on and he, he, he knew his way, we didn't feel unsafe but it was quite an adventure actually. So kind of sad, that was the most exciting part of the night. Um, anyway, uh, when we got there they said it was 300 pesos entry fee and it's the same with kayak boats or the canoe boats. Now I felt that was unfair because they charged us 300 pesos each even though the canoe boats were not available. So I tried to negotiate, I said, Kuya, please, it's not fair to charge us 300 if we cannot even use the canoe boats. That's why we came. Because when you use the canoe boats, you can go through the mangroves and then you'll see all the different fly fireflies and it's much more of an adventure and more fun. So it kind of sucked, yeah, that he charged us the same price even though we couldn't use the canoe boats. It was low tide. He also recommended coming back in the daytime. That way it's high tide and that way you can use the canoe boats and you can go through the mangroves and see monkeys and other wildlife. So again, just a warning, something to consider if you go out to do this um, Kingfisher Park, whatever they call it. Uh, you might want to go in the daytime when it's high tide and then maybe stay until uh, sunset and then see the fireflies at sunset. Uh, anyway, uh, what else? Uh, it was a good deal though because uh, you know we, it, we set up ourselves, meaning uh, 500 pesos for all three of us to go on the trike and return trip, plus 300 pesos entry, you know, pff, couple of pesos to see fireflies. We'd, we'd never seen fireflies before, so that's why we got excited and wanted to go. But I just wanted to give those caveats and warnings, so probably better to do it in the daytime and uh, stay until the afternoon if you can, or um, go in the late afternoon, I don't know. But he actually said morning. The, the guy at the park actually said better to come in the morning if you want to go uh, canoe boating and uh, see some more wildlife. Anyway, uh, otherwise, yeah, look, oh, you know, I'm in my swim clothes, I thought I'd go swimming tonight, but anyway. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and be adventures out.